$2 is the price of a McDouble, a cute kawaii pencil, a public transportation ticket, or a cute cozy video game. Steam is having their wholesome direct sale, and I've found a bunch of games that are only $2. But the problem is, there's hundreds of games on sale, and that's too overwhelming. How will you know which one to get? Well, that's why you got me. I handpicked the cutest, coziest, funnest, that's not a word, cheapest cozy video games that are worth the price. So don't even bother with this stressful sale. I got you covered. Here are some hand-picked cozy games for the price of a McDouble. Down in Bermuda. I don't want to go to the Bermuda Triangle, but I know you do. You're a dude who got lost at sea and ended up in the Bermuda Triangle. This dude is literally dumb as fuck, and he's been stuck on this island for a decade. You gotta help him escape so he can go back home. On the way, there's monsters. You fight them. Not actually with skill or anything, you use puzzle mechanics to attack them, and this helps the dude out. Down in Bermuda is a quirky adventure game. You do some puzzles to help your escape, you crack some codes, collect orbies, ooh, how fun, and escape six islands. I didn't know there's six islands in the Bermuda Triangle. Why the fuck would I leave that? That's six awesome vacation spots. So feel free to escape six times in this game. And guess what? It's only $2. My opinion and thoughts on this game. Mind you, I haven't played it, okay? Well, the art style isn't bad, but it looks Facebookian. Like it's made for those tech startup companies, and I don't have much love for that art style. But it is puzzling and cute. I'm not sure if cozy and wholesome is who this game is meant for. I feel like it might suit someone who works from home or a tech startup. My Microsoft fanboys and girls, you gotta come out of your shell, because there's a game you can relate to. Enjoy this corporate looking ass puzzle game by getting out of the Bermuda or being stuck there forever. I never heard of South by Southwest giving game awards. I always thought they only do movies. So this game got nominated for Indie Game of the Year. That's right. The Last Campfire is this cute ass adventure puzzle platformer game. You're this cute little dude named Ember and you are fucking lost. So you look for a way home. I'm starting to notice a lot of these game plots have you lost from home. So if you're actually lost in life, then these games are pretty good to kill time. This game has you exploring beautiful lands, finding beautiful monsters, and a meaning in life, which is very cool because I don't know what the meaning of life is. Ember is too adorable, and I think you'd have fun in the puzzle game. The game really wants you to explore, so cop this game. It's only $2.99, a dollar more, but the visuals are too stunning to miss out. And guess what? I have it myself. I also copped it on on sale one day. If you miss this sale, you can get it another time, because it's on sale pretty often. Just let me know your thoughts if you'd ever play The Last Campfire. I'll probably make a review on this game later once I've played it. This is the most goofiest fucking game I've ever seen. His name is Octodad. You use four tentacles to keep his secret of being an octopus. That's fucking funny. How has his family not caught on? Like, his wife is married to a squid. Like, bitches, you blind? You married a squid? And you get human children from an octopus? Shut up. You got me cracked up. In Octodad, there's family tea, like actual drama, between Octodad and his wife. You can adventure with the dad, wear goofy ass neckties, or play co op with your friends. Octodad's deadliest catch is only $2.99. Thank you, Wholesome Games, for this funny ass recommendation. I think tentacles and gaming are just what I needed. Octodad is hilarious and funny because it's hard to control a cephalopod. You got four tentacles and you wreck shit up. I really want to try the game myself. I'll probably do a review for this later too. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. It should only take you a second. Because if it takes you longer than that, does that mean you're a cephalopod? Please do it, Mr. and Mrs. Octo Viewer. I need your subby wubby so I can feed my cat Catsper. Thank you. Have you ever felt a sense of loss, life? and hope? Well, Old Man's Journey tells you that same feeling. You're an old man on this journey, touching an interactive world. So like, imagine you're the old man in the movie Up. Instead of going up, you go forward. In Old Man's Journey, you unlock his memories that will relieve sadness, happiness, and grief in a beautiful landscape. It's pretty emotional. 
but so heartwarming. It's a puzzle adventure game. You like move plates of the lands into a path for the man, and it's very chill. I really like this game. I've actually played it a bit myself. Although I'm not completely done, I can confirm it's super cozy. You click and point where you want to go, and shift the plates of land so the old man can cross. And then, you unlock his past memories. I even found out I have this game on both Switch and PC. So you can get this one on console too. Old Man's Journey is only $159 on Steam. This game goes on sale pretty often, but make sure to bookmark it if you're watching this after the sale is done. Here's a game you can play with a friend. Ib and Ob, a puzzle game where gravity goes up and down. You have to work with your friend to make the world work. I play Super Mario Bros games, but sometimes it can be stressful when we don't get all the stars and coins. Instead of being Mario and Luigi, why not be Ob and Ib? They're both the same style of games. In Ib and Ob, there's only 15 levels, and the art style is super simple. The only downside is you gotta understand physics. And let me just say, I did not pass my physics class. So gravity may or may not be on your side. The game is local or online multiplayer. So play Mario and Luigi in Ib and Ob for two bucks, guys. Two bucks! I'm sorry, it's actually $2.39. Still, it's the same thing. I like a lot of children's games because I suffer from major depressive disorder and I never had a good childhood. For me, children's games can be really cozy. Some of them help you relive your childhood. The Little Mouse Encyclopedia is this cute artsy fartsy mouse book game. You crawl around the world to interact with different species and learn about them. It's very chill and not super brain inducing. Like there's no work for you to do. You just learn about animals and it's very informative. We stand an informative cool Queen. You'll get to learn about 160 different species, navigate with easy controls, and is accessible for multiple languages. This game is easily replayable, so you or your kid could enjoy this goofy ass game. Little Mouse's Encyclopedia is for a buck and 20 cents. Cop this mouse game now, baby. This is a must-have game. You will not be disappointed. Cats Organized Neatly is a cute, 2D puzzle game with a job for you to organize them neatly. In this grid box game, some cats are fat, squishy, oddly shaped. They all come in different shapes and sizes, and that's why I love this game. And cat games are one of the cozy staples. You must have them. There's about 80 different cats and 80 different levels. The controls were a bit finicky for me, because I played on the Steam Deck, and I have to hold this giant, massive potato-ass console. And when you hold it, you gotta use the mouse pad feature. So it's hard to do both at the same time. Holding Steam Deck and moving adorable cats. Which one do I do? So play this one on PC, which is on sale for $2.09. And guess what? If you aren't a cat person, my dog friend, they have a dog version as well. My name is Frog Luck Holmes, and I am a frog. There's some mysterious ass shit happening to my homie. Mr. Sloth. It seems like someone is pranking him, and I need to save my mans the trouble. So I look at a bunch of spooky clues, and they all point me to some scary ass suspects who are fucking cute. Ah! What will I do? Frog Detective 1 is not the only game for $2, cause so is Frog Detective 2! Frog Detective is a short, dorky game where you play as Frog Luck Holmes and you find clues and help your goofy cute friends with their troubles. You don't need to play the first game to play the second one. The only difference is there's a wizard! You're a wizard, Frog Luck Holmes! Joking, it's not Frog Luck Holmes. The second game has cute stickers, and I'm like, bro, I need this game. Enjoy this adorably doofy cute game, Frog Detective 1 and 2, which are both on sale for less than a dollar. Here's a non-puzzle game, because I know you're tired of them. Bunny Park is this adorable bunny farm game where you build and decorate a little park for bunnies. I love bunnies. They are so adorable. I will need a bunny as compensation for my wholesome game recommendations, okay? Thankies. You build and expand the park. There's 25 different bunnies. You get to feed and play with them. Collect that bunny moolah for cute decor and make your bunny homies happy. 
This game is so cute. It's a relaxing simulation game. Taking care of bunnies, giving them a little home. Pet your bunnies while they're asleep and I will pull up to your house. Do not disturb the bunnies. They're resting. Let them sleep. These cute little bun buns. Bunny Park is on sale for $2.50. I've never played this game and I enjoy simulation games a lot. So this is a necessary purchase and I would be very happy if you take care of the bunnies for me. Please name me after a bun bun. This is an incredibly gorgeous game that looks like it was made for a stop motion film. I think that's crazy how they animated this game. I love how real life it looks. It's got a cute cartoony protagonist you adventure through buildings look at this one it's a dollhouse and you solve puzzles along the way the idea and design of this game is just so creative like how did you combine real life stuff to a game it's fucking surreal it's a world full of paper you know what this game kind of reminds me of it takes two this is a paper world and it's incredible because it's a handmade world someone put a lot of work into this and i love it explore the city and solve puzzles this game is pretty straightforward, but it's incredibly amazing how they made it. You'll help people who live in the city discover things outside their dollhouse. There's places like gardens in the sky, towers in a water wheel, houses in cliffs. This game is baffling to me because of how detailed and structured it is. And I can't believe it's only $2.59. Pop this banger. Shoot, you know why it's amazing? People who make props for movies, animators, fine artists, and architects make this game so that's why it's so beautiful have you ever been on a solo discovery journey well neither have i solo is this amazing 3d world adventure game and you go to this island to reflect your loving relationship by exploring and contemplating them with beautiful creatures this game is very life lessony it's a reflection on love and that's what's interesting to me like the devs decided a self-discovery game that makes you question about your relationship with love. How cool is that? It teaches our individual experiences on love and it may give you a different perspective. It's not guaranteed that you'll learn a lesson from it, but it's an interesting concept. This game is narrative filled. You'll have multiple options to solve puzzles. You can think and relax in the world, take pictures of animals and the island, and just enjoy yourself on this journey. Solo is available for $2.99 on the Steam store. So, what are your thoughts on my cozy selection of games. Will you cop them or do you want a juicy McDouble after this? Comment down below. Anyways, I had a blast making this video and I hope you will too. Please let me know what future video games you want to see on my channel and don't forget to subscribe or support me on Patreon for more content like this. Bye bye!